Some might say that I'm obsessed with bikes, and I guess they'd be right. But have a look at this guy. His obsession with two-stroke race bikes is pretty out there. Like, he's got them in his house. Let's have a look. It's the smell, the sound, the power band. If you haven't ridden a two-stroke, and the first time you feel that power band, it's like a turbocharged car, but more. You struggle to keep the front wheel down. It's the lightness of the bike, they're a lot lighter. You flick them around, you know, they, they buzz around. Not, nothing like it. Hello guys, coming in. The riders are in the garage. The non-riders are in the dining room. <laughs> it's a super fun. They're not going down, they're appreciating. Uh, they're getting harder to find, and parts are getting harder to find. You've got to be a bit resourceful. Gumtree and eBay are your friend. You, you go on Facebook, you've got Australian smokers, Aussie two-strokes, um, Sydney smokers. You need a part for a bike, you put it up there. Hey, I need one of these, has anyone got one? Some, always somebody comes on and says, yeah, I've got one, I'll help you out. Sometimes they even give you it free, just to keep the two-strokes going, you know? This is a matching numbers RD350 LC, 1981. And these were the ones that broke the mold. These were the forerunner for all the RGVs and everything else. Slowly but surely, I started from the frame, got the frame powder coated, and bit by bit, rebuilt the engine, bit by bit, built it up. And this is what it is today. Um, it's probably my favorite two-stroke. One of the first ones I did, and I've never ridden it. <laughs> it's a piece of art for me and that's why it's in the dining room. It's never had fuel in it. This is my little workshop. I'd love it to be twice the size and then I could actually do more work, but um, everything happens in this little corner here. Mainly rebuilding the engines, um, two stroke engines, pretty simple. You have the crank, which is all pressed together. The bearings don't come out, so you have to pull it all apart and re put it back together with new bearings and things. The engines are really quite simple. You've just got your gears there, two halves, that goes on top of there, and then you've got your pistons and your barrels on top of that. No camshafts, no cam chains, no valves, no valve adjustments, nothing. Just up and down, up and down, up and down. <laughs> this is where it all happens. And believe it or not, all of those bikes there, well 90% of them, were actually built here. This is my latest little project. Doesn't look much at the minute, but um, when it's finished, it should be pretty cool. They're not rocket science, but when you've got it right and it's going and it's good, and it, and it, it's Red George, you, you won't regret it. You know? that's, how, that's how to do it. Just buy one <laughs> and work it out from there. <laughs>